All right, we're live. Hello, everybody. Thank you for uh, swinging in. As you can tell, we have our guest, Scott, who um, I'm going to talk a little bit about in a second. But first off, I'm going to let you know that uh, Mary Ellen, T-Town Mary Ellen, is, is trying to join us, and she's got a technical difficulty. So she will join us as soon as she can. But until then, Scott, I really appreciate you being on my live stream. Anytime, always happy to do this for my friend. You know, you've been my friend for, I would say, about four years at least. Would you say that's right? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you, Scott, and I, I'm saying this to everybody who joins and anybody who watches this on the replay, Scott has been an amazing part of our community for a long time. Scott and I met in a Resort TV One chat and became friends. And we have um, been connected for, uh, like I said, at least four years, probably a little bit more. We're Facebook friends. We, we like to chat with each other. There's Emily. Hi, Emily. Nice to have LSU mom here. You know Emily, Scott. Yeah. Hi, Emily. <laughs> and she is an awesome uh, person in our community. And uh, I always think of Emily as one of the very first moderators for Resort TV One, right? Yep. <laughs> um, Janie B. Wow, nice to have you here. Do you know Janie B? Yeah. Hi, Janie. Nice to have you um, here on the chat. And in case anyone hasn't noticed, and then we have pole wheels here. Nice to have you here. Thank you for swinging in. Um, I don't know if I've met you before. Have you met pole P O wheels? P -O uh, is that Mike Wheeler? Oh, maybe so. Okay. Well, nice to have you here, and we're really excited to get rolling here. Um, T Tom Marion will join us if she if she's able to get her technical thing figured out. But we've got a bunch of Disney questions prepared. Uh, but before we do that, Anna Isabel, nice to have you here. Do you know Annabelle Isabel Zikic? Zikic. No. Okay. Well, she's she's been coming to uh, my chat for a little while, and uh, thank you for being here. This is Scott. And uh, Scott Schur, and he's my my good friend who I finally get a chance to interview in a live stream. We have Texas Takes here. Hello, Ed. Hello, Heather. Hello, Ed. <laughs> nice to have you on board, too. It sure is. Um, well, all right, Scott, first off, and as people join the chat, we'll say hi to every one of them. But um, I want to ask you, I've got a poll in the chat, and I want to see the results up to now. So we've had 12 votes come in, and so far, the winner says that you like Epcot the most of all four parks. But I'm not so sure. What Which is your favorite park? Epcot. It is Epcot. <laughs> yeah. tell, tell us why. Why you like Epcot so much? Because it's nice and open, not so crowded. Yeah, I agree. Uh, that's you know Epcot Bob is my brother and I. Yeah. That is our favorite park too. <laughs> but I have a feeling Scott knew that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your? Oh, well, I I want to ask you questions. I'm going to ask you later. But uh, what what is your favorite um, attraction at Epcot, if I could ask you that? Soren. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I know you really love Soren. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about living with the land? That's my favorite. Um, I like it when it goes into that greenhouse. Yeah. That's a nice part. I've never done the Christmas one. Have you ever seen the Christmas overlay? No. No, neither have I. Well, Janie B is asking, where is Epcot Bob? Uh, I'll tell you, Bob is probably busy. Uh, his son is getting married in about a week and a half. And so I know they've been pretty busy. 
but he hopefully he'll stop in here. But that's a great question, Janie B. All right. Well, I unfortunately it doesn't look like T Town has been able to figure out her issues. So Scott, before we get into the questions, I know a little bit about Camp Jabberwocky, but could you tell everybody wh what that is? And and I know that picture that we're sh seeing right now is you at Camp Jabberwocky. Tell everybody about what it is and how you've been involved and what's coming up with Camp Jabberwocky. Well, Camp Jabberwocky is um, a sleepover camp for people with disabilities. It started in 1953 in, in an old, old house. It moved on a 38-year campsite now. Hmm. So that's two, it's open two years before Disneyland opened. Yep. Wow, I didn't know it was around that long. Okay, Ed has a question for you here, Scott. Did you like soaring over California or soaring around the world the most? Soaring around the world. Oh yeah. What uh, What about it did you like? I like the China scene. Yeah, the wall. Yeah, that is awesome. Is there a kite in that scene? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Good question. Keep the questions coming in. Um, all right. Well, thank you for telling us about Camp Jabberwocky. And now, if you're ready, I'd like to get into the Disney questions. I'm sorry. Okay. I'll let your your mom help you out there. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Uh, and Mary Ellen, if you're if you're there and you are able to figure it out, just hop on in. And, and if you want to um, try using your phone, um, if you have the mm -hmm. Facebook app, then you can get the link to StreamYard off there and then just join us. So, all right, here we go. Scott, what? Let's start with movies. We you and I both like movies. Um, what is your Favorite three movies I asked. What is what is the first one? Enchanted. Enchanted. And there it is. I love that movie. <laughs> I thought that the 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 woman, and I forget the ac actress's name, I thought she was amazing in that movie. Yeah, I'll help you out. It's Amy Adams. That's right, Amy Adams. I had seen her once before and then so she does this completely different role and she absolutely nailed that role she was amazing <laughs> was uh was she your favorite part of that movie or or just yeah, the whole movie? I, i've seen her work before yeah yep she's been in a lot of stuff too yeah i i like amy adams and that was just such a cute story <clears throat> And Janie agrees. She says Amy Adams is amazing. <laughs> All right. Uh, no, movie number two, and I'm excited about this one. What's your second favorite? Story, story, no. <laughs> and, and I'll tell you, Scott, I have heard a lot of people say that that is their least favorite. And yet for me, I think it was maybe my favorite either that or the original one but i loved <laughs> toy story 2. yes i love the uh apartment building that they're in yeah <laughs> and, and and jesse and uh the prospector and uh they were yeah. such good good roles in that film in fact for me, the reason, another reason I like that movie so much is because, like you said, they're in the apartment. It makes it a little more real to life. And, the, and then when they went into the toy store, that was kind of fun, too. Yeah. Um, Emily says, I don't think I've seen Enchanted. I'll have to watch it. Oh, yes. They're making this Enchanted coming in. Coming this fall to Disney Plus. Really? Yeah. 
So disenchanted. That sounds like yeah. they're going to make it a little darker. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Do you know when it's coming out? Thanksgiving. When? Thanksgiving. Oh, Thanksgiving. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Well, we'll 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 watch it while we have turkey. All right. And now the next movie uh, I've never seen, and I want you to tell tell us a little bit more about it. What was your third favorite movie? Uh, Descendants. And so, honestly, when you told me Descendants, I had never even heard of it. Uh, so I've never seen it. So what what is this movie about? Uh, it's um, directed by... Kenny Ortega, the high school musical director. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, and it's about these three uh, kids that are evil, and <laughs> I like it. Okay. So did you like High School Musical? Yeah. Okay, so I have a story to tell you, and I don't know if I've told you this. But uh, years ago, I actually was Uber driving because I, I have a full-time job. I'm in computers yeah. and all that. But I was when I was driving home from work, I had such a long commute. I thought, well, why don't I Uber on my way home? Well, I one time picked up somebody from the Mall of America and I thought she, okay, she looked mm -hmm. like she had to be somebody. And it was one of the actors from High School Musical. <laughs> wow. And I don't remember her name, but I just remember it was Russian. <laughs> and wow. she was uh, had blonde hair. Uh, and she was one of the main stars of that, that movie. Wow. Yeah. But I know you've met, met a lot of famous people because I've seen pictures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for question number two? Yeah. All right. Now, this is very near and dear to my heart. Uh, well, what did Emily say here? I haven't seen that one either. I need to catch up on some movies. I know, Emily, it's like Disney <laughs> Plus. Uh, you know, I just have not watched so many of those movies. But all right, we're going to move on to my one of my favorite topics, which is food and talk about your favorite restaurants. And I know you have two of them. What was your first favorite restaurant? The Coral Reef. The Coral Reef at the Living Seas at Epcot. Now tell me more about why you like this restaurant. Because the ocean, uh, you can uh, watch the sea creatures while you're in it. Yeah, that's the best part. Um, their food is is fairly good, uh, but I would say, you know, by far, that is one of the best ambiance restaurants that I've ever been in. It is it is just beautiful, and I I like the dark. It's kind of like a dark ride experience, except it's a dark, you know, restaurant. <laughs> so, okay. Well, good. Uh, Living Seas. And now what was your second one? Um, I wrote down, um, Yep. And I have never... I have never been to that. So, what? Yeah. Where? Where is it? The Fort Wilderness Campground okay. and Resort. Yeah, a Fort Wilderness Campground. And so, when you went there, were you staying at Fort Wilderness? No. Okay, you just went over there. Yeah. How was and the food? Fantastic. I bet it was. It's barbecue, right? Yeah. I love it. Well, if anybody can do barbecue, it's Disney. I mean, I know it's I know that uh I know that I would love it and I've been to something like that, but just not that one. 
and barbecue chicken too. Barbecue chicken, do they have corn on the cob? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, those are two good restaurants. Uh, hey, we have a new uh, visitor here, Najuma Brown. Nice to have you here. So I'm interviewing Scott. We are through our first two questions about Disney, and uh, <clears throat> we're going to move on to number three. All right. So here's what Janie B says about the coral reef. Just don't order fish and chips at Living Seas. You might get some funny looks from the fish through the window. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought of that. You're eating seafood while the seafood is staring at you. <laughs> yeah. That's good. <laughs> Just make sure you hover over the plate so they don't see it. <laughs> um, all right. Well, let's move on to number three, which is favorite characters. And I know you had three of them. And I will tell you this in advance. Your first one, well... You, two of yours are my two favorites as well. So, what was your first one? Um, Goofy. Goofy. <laughs> what do you like about Goofy? He's um in the cartoons. Yeah. They're so funny, and I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Uh, Emily, by the way, says fish are friends, not food. <laughs> you know what movie that's oh, from. Yeah. <laughs> and we have John and Nancy here from JNN Travels. Nice to have you with us. And so, all right. So Goofy is definitely my second favorite. Um, I, I think it's your favorite. And then, all right, what's your your second one? Stitch. Stitch. Now, guess what, Scott? I have never, and I think Downscale is going to be really disappointed with me because Downscale is in the house here, but I have hi, never seen. Hi, buddy. <laughs> nice to have you here. And what does he say? He says, I'll get back to Stitch in a second. Wait a second. The live place is live. And then I kept waiting to find out who was live, but it just kept telling me that the live place is live. It's kind of like a loop. And now I know the Dean is. And I am with your friend, Scott Schur, who uh, just informed me that his second favorite uh, character is Stitch. And uh, I have never seen Stitch's Great Escape. Are you are you upset with me, Scott? <laughs> A bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I I I have told people I will watch that film. But what what do you like about Stitch so much? It's cuddly. <laughs> cuddly. Do you have a Stitch doll? No, but I want one. That's a great. That's a great because, idea. Because Jenna has a back knot. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. she has a stitch backpack? Yeah. Nice, nice. Well, everyone's saying downscale. I'm really honored that downscale would come in here. Nice to nice to have you here, downscale. Leave it to Dean to be the only one to understand an endless loop and failed coding. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> and I am a co I'm into computers, as I believe you are as well. Yeah. All right. So number three. I'm thinking that most people are familiar with your third favorite character. And who is that? Um, Mickey Mouse. The, the, the head cheese, Mickey Mouse. He is uh, my favorite. <laughs> I love his voice. Um, and you know, you probably know more about the history of Mickey Mouse than I do, but obviously... Walt was the voice of Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Yeah. What do you What do you like about Mickey? What about him? What What do you like to tell people? It's just so magical when you're at Disney and you see him in Fantasmic. Oh yeah, 
Yeah, exactly. And I know, well, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But yeah, Mickey Mouse, he's the best. He has a great heart. <laughs> Janie agrees with you. <laughs> and Downscale says he couldn't pass up hanging out with Alex. Come on. <laughs> All right. Let's go to the next question. Um, give me a minute. Okay. All right. The next question, Scott, is back to food. What is one of your two fa your first favorite snack at Disney property? The mini ice cream bar. And there I have I got lucky. I got a picture of it at your favorite park, Epcot. <laughs> <laughs> The question is, Scott, do you think you could eat three of them? No, because no. I like those in Norway. Oh, I yeah. Know. Do they make um, Mickey bars that are uh, dairy-free? I'm sure they do, but I'm not here. Yeah. Um, well, they are They are delicious. And they melt fast in this hot sum, hot summer. Well, they they actually they do keep them pretty frozen solid. They're kind of hard to eat at first. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, Mickey ice cream bar. Definitely, I was familiar with that. But the next one you mentioned, I wasn't as familiar with. And what's your other favorite snack item? All uh, right, I like yogurt. So, um, yogurt parfait. So when you told me that, I did not realize that they got yogurt parfaits all over the place down there. That you can get them at like All Star, is uh, I think All Star. Yeah. All Star and Caribbean Beach. And Caribbean yeah. Beach, and uh, I did. I just had never had one there, so um, so that's good to know. All right, well, good. So you like the yogurt parfait, you like my Mickey ice cream bar. How how do you feel about churros? I never had a churro. Okay. But well, I mean, they are I, good. That's why I hear from Disneyland. The Disney World ones aren't that good, I hear. Yeah, I think I've heard that too. Uh, although I I do love uh, I do love a good churro even at Disney World, Caribbean Beach is one of Downscale's favorite resorts too. It is really and it's a big resort. You said you stayed there, right, Scott? Yeah. So you know how massive that resort is. I think yeah. it's like th three separate sections, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, Right from, I just got the answer from my mom. It's five. What's the answer? Five. Five? Yeah. And five is what? The countries. The island. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Well, now, now you know uh, Pete McDevitt, I'm sure. Yes, <laughs> I'm on his Discord server a lot. Oh, you are. Okay. Yeah. Yes, uh, Pete is awesome, and he always asks this question. A lot of people ask it. Do you prefer monorail or Skyliner? Um, this one. I uh, I'm gonna go with Skyliner yeah. because the monorail um is getting too old and worn out. Yeah, uh, I'm a I'm in agreement with you. I love Skyliner um, because you know unless it's a busy time in the morning, Skyliner is so fast you can get in from like i usually stay up uh, pop century you can oh. get from pop century 
to Epcot or Hollywood Studios in, in literally like 10 minutes. Um, okay, so what you said earlier about five, Downscale is confirming five different districts in Kirby and Beach. I did not know that. I think I just guessed. Oh, look at we have a we have somebody with us. And it is T Town Mary Allen. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. Hi. Hi, Scott. Um, Little technical difficulties. He asked how you're doing. I'm doing good, Scott. How are you? Good. What number are we on? We just did Skyliner or monorail and i think yours is the next question mary because we were going to rotate scott so do you have that in front of you um yes. it would be it would be for you would be question one two well one two three the fourth one that you have i believe okay all right so is it my turn <laughs> yeah but before you do i want to make sure we say hi to chris holbert Hi, Chris. Yeah. Hi, Chris. Hey, one of my friends. Nice. Oh, that's nice. He came and visited me here on Wednesday of last week. Uh, oh, that's right. I saw that on uh, Facebook. Yeah. There. Now, if I put a comment up, I won't be blocking you out, Mary Ellen. Okay, and I, I can't see chat, so I apologize. I say hello to everybody, but I can't <laughs> see chat. I'm on my phone. <laughs> All right, and, and and Downscale is confirming. Of course, it's your turn. You have a mic. <laughs> <laughs> finally, finally, we've a been mic we've and been camera. We've been working on that one. All right, Scott. Here comes the next question from Mary Ellen. Okay, so I I'm taking I'm number seven. Correct. Okay. Uh, I th I think yeah seven. Okay, Scott, who is your favorite Disney villain? Um, Maleficent. Maleficent. Yeah. You know, she's a lot of people's favorite villain. And I did that costume as one of my camp costumes for the 4th of July parade one. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> hey, I wanted to say a warm welcome to Elaine Ma. She says, hi, I am new. I have learned disability. Well, thank you for being here. Welcome, Elaine. We are interviewing Scott Schur, and um, he is a very good friend for many years. And so now uh, I just realized, and I apologize, did, did I interrupt anything about the villain question? No, he said Maleficent and that he used that costume at camp one time. Right, right. All right. Well, Scott, I missed a question and I'm going to go back. I apologize. See, I messed up. Okay. Favorite Disney hotels. You have two of them. Hmm. Caribbean Beach. Yes, Caribbean Beach. I think I had it in the wrong order. Did I? Oh, I see. I did it like this. Okay. So actually, you can see Caribbean Beach there below the Skyliner. So have you been to Caribbean Beach when the Skyliner yeah. was? Perfect. Was have you been on the Skyliner, Scott? Yeah, last year in April. And okay. I love the Skyliner. Okay. I haven't been on it yet. That's right. Awesome. It's awesome. I bet. It is. It is a game changer. Uh, Downscale says he has many favorite hotels. I, I agree. Probably almost everyone. Elaine says, pleased to meet everyone. Downscale says, Caribbean Beach is pretty dang great. It has the Skyliner now. We, mm -hmm. Yeah, it is great. Yeah. I hear it's really large, though. Like, you could, if you're staying at one end of it, it takes you a while to get to transportation. That's correct. Yeah. The bus. Yeah. The bus. I don't know how 
how hard is it to get from every one of the Caribbean beach parts to the Skyliner? Is it, is, do you have very to take a bus? Hard, very hard without a bus, but yeah. they do provide bus transportation. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Well, all right. Um, next hotel, Scott. Art of animation. Next, next the box century. And they got the Skyliner in between Pop Century and Art of Animation. Um, do you have a favorite section or area at Art of, Art of Animation? Because I know it's amazing. Yeah, the cars. Um, yeah. The car. Um, car. The cars area is fantastic. I think that probably is the best area. Yeah. When Keith was there recently, um, you know, he walked around all of them and it's amazing just to see all the different sections. But yeah, when he was in the car section, that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. Chris, your friend says, I drive my favorite hotel. It's a my 35 foot motor home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no. and downscale says oh i bet it's very busy to get to the main terminal from all the bus stops yeah that's what i was just wondering too with yeah. caribbean yeah. yeah okay so we've done hotels uh well mary Ellen, since you're here the next the next question, uh, you uh, you probably don't have it in front of you, do you? No, I'm sorry. Okay. I have That's, mine. I was going to let you take some of mine since I took some of yours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Scott, the next question is, well, let's get past because I think uh, we got that. There's your favorite Skyliner and then there's Maleficent. All right. What are your favorite attractions that are gone from Disney World? The great movie rhyme. Uh, bravo. <laughs> Agreed. Agree. Yeah. That was so, I am so, I mean, I know people like the great train thing. I love the movie ride so much better than the, the, the new one. Yeah, me too. And it was accessible to this this yes. makes the runway railroad is not accessible. I didn't know that. Huh? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. I always thought. Yeah, that's 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 unfortunate because mm -hmm. I always thought that they could have kept the great movie ride, and maybe if they had run out of their rights to play certain movies, they could have inserted others. Exactly. Oh, that's my thoughts. Exactly. Um, Scott, Elaine has a question for you. Um, how can I ask what Scott disability not try to be ruled? Rude. Oh, rude. oh yeah, not rude. Um, gotcha. Basically, um. I can't see very far, and I have trouble uh, reading stuff, mm -hmm. and I have seen the cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. Yes, Scott has cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. That's a good question, Elaine. I'm glad you asked. Chris has a question for you. I have a question. Who, who knows what Epcot stands for? Do you know, Scott? Go ahead, Scott. Um, experimental prototype of tomorrow. That's right. Experimental prototype community of tomorrow. And uh, bring it up. <laughs> and you know what? It's Scott's favorite park, as it is mine, and I believe Mary Ellen. It's mine too. <laughs> Yay! We're all Epcot enthusiasts here. 
<laughs> so of course you miss horizons, right, Scott? Yeah. Oh, that was so good. What did, what do you think about the replacement for Horizon, Scott, uh, Mission Space? Um, um, it uh, makes my mom and my dad sick to this. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well, I won't go on the spinny one. <laughs> I won't even try it. Yeah. You can go on the non-spinny one, but it's claustrophobic, I warn you. <laughs> <laughs> Emily has uh, shared the link to Scott's channel. So if you would like to check out Scott's channel, the link is in the chat. And I'm Great. sure he would appreciate that you would subscribe. Yeah. Downscale's, downscale, downscale knows a lot, okay? And he is saying they bought a majority of the Great Movie Ride rights when they bought Fox Entertainment. Yes, they do. Huh. Then why did they get rid of it? Yeah. Um, because they wanted an attraction in there with Mickey Mouse. Um, I guess Mickey Mouse has priority over great movie writing. I guess that makes yeah. kind of sense, but just yeah. include a movie in there that has Mickey Mouse in it. Exactly. And they already had yeah. Fantasmic in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, uh, it looks like we have a quorum here because Downscale saying Epcot number one here. Chris is saying my favorite as well. So there you go. We've got quite a, we've got an Epcot, uh, Epcot crowd here. We'll make t shirts. Now, yeah. Uh, Downscale says, hey, let's replace a ride everyone can enjoy with a ride no one enjoys. Bob Paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> it's we almost all... like that. It's almost like, hey, let's ruin everybody's fun and let's put in something nobody likes. Oh, my word. Right. It's so sad. It's so sad. Yeah. Um, downscale says, right. Why did they get rid of it? Best question ever because it involves ca involved cast members. Oh, okay. Um, uh, yeah, <sighs> probably. Uh, yeah. Oh boy. Well, we, we, we all love Epcot and we all feel the same way about some of the decisions they're making. Uh, downscale says Bob paycheck, JPEG in regards to horizons, <laughs> <laughs> not the great movie, right? But also that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Next question. Let's see. Well, wait a minute here. We did uh we did the great movie ride. What's the other attraction, Scott, that you miss? Stitch. Stitch. Now tell me, Scott, did did you get a little freaked out in that attraction like I did? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No one warned me. I like I like that part. Where yeah. I I like evil stuff. You're right. <laughs> well, it's kind of what makes a movie kind of interesting, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I did not know that I was going to feel something on my legs. <laughs> 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 it caught me off guard. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. In fact, I don't think it was Stitch the first time. I think it was Alien Encounter, and I think that one was a little yeah. darker. Yeah. As it was. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if it's a little stitchy, you're not as scared. True. He's cute, kind right. of. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, so Scott's favorite two rides that are gone. Great choices. Great movie ride in Stitch. Now we're going to the next question, Mary Ellen. Okay, Scott, um, as far as Disney, you know, shows within Disney, the parks, which is your favorite? Like mm -hmm. attractions, like watching a show. Fantastic. Yeah. Oops, yeah. there we go. There it is, Scott. I've got Mickey shooting the fireworks from his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> have you been to that. 
Yeah. Go on. I'm sorry. I was going to ask uh, if Mary Ellen has been to Fantasmic because I have not. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's awesome. I've been several times. I actually seen both shows. Okay. Okay. So there was two. Yeah. Okay. Your friend Chris has a question. Scott, did you ever see Pirates of the Caribbean ride or It's a Small World? Yes, I have. And I I like that ride, but uh, it's not accessible. Which one? The uh, uh, um, Small World or Caribbean? The Pirates. Oh. Oh. I thought it, I, I would have guessed it was. No. Hmm. Well, that's a disappointing. Elaine says, Scott, follow your, your YouTube. She followed him on YouTube. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you for doing that, Elaine. All right. That's awesome. Downscale says, I was fine with everything until they touched my legs. Oh, that's my quote. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag touch my legs. <laughs> Fantastic for sure. So uh, uh, he liked it as well. Both prob, right? Okay, with the uh, rides. Yeah. All right. Well, Fantasmic is your favorite show. I'm kind of surprised, Scott, you didn't say one of the Epcot nighttime shows. No, um, I am um, Yeah, you prefer <laughs> illuminations? Yeah, if illumination was still around, I would say that hands down. Yep, yes, yep. yes, agreed, agreed here too. Yeah. In fact, I like to say this. Please don't get sick of me for saying it. Maybe down. I don't know if downscale will relate to this or not because I'm a little older. But there was a illumination show prior to Reflections of Earth, and that actually is my all-time favorite because it was the first one I saw, and um, and I liked it. It had better better nation music. The fireworks weren't as good, but the way they danced out to each nation. Yes. Oh. Would yes. you remember that? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that was so good. Yes. Downscale agreeing on the illuminations. And um, Janie B has a question, Scott. Have you been to Disneyland? No, but I want to go because the band has me admire in their show. Really? Oh. Huh. I didn't know that either. And hi, Janie B. We always talk to each other in chat, but I, I, she's never <laughs> yeah. seen me before. I don't think. Okay. Yeah. She's been in the chat here since the beginning. I can't see chat. Sorry, guys. Oh well, I'll uh, I'll let you know. We have. <laughs> All right. I was gonna crack a joke, and I changed my mind. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna go with the downscale theme, but. All oh. right. <laughs> Scott, are you ready for the most important question, which yeah. is, you know what's next, is your favorite ride. Scott has six of them. So what was your favorite? Uh, Soren. Soren. Woo! Used to be my favorite as well. Now Soren. what's your favorite, Dean? Living with the land. Oh, mm -hmm. yes. Because mm -hmm. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> Scott says he liked Soren over the uh, world more than California, be and his favorite part was China. Yeah. That is fantastic. Scott, did you know that in Minneapolis here at the Mall of America, we have our own Soren ride? No way. Is it we, made by Dynamic Attraction? Maybe. You might be right. How did you know that? Because I talk to them on Twitter a lot. Really? Oh, that yeah. is so funny. Because they have a few of them. I know. I think they have one in Canada. They have one at the Mall of America, and the and one at the 
And now they have one at Dennis' Yeah, really? at Dollywood, right? The guy thought I was supposed to go, but didn't get new. I want to welcome Top Cat. Um, yeah, absolutely. I, I'd love to have you as a mod. Um, I'm not, I'm using StreamYard, so I can't do that right now, but, um, all right. Um, Emily says she also loves Soren and, um, Downscale is searching the iStore. <laughs> 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 wow. LOL. Just kidding. I'd never buy an Apple product. Oh, well, I'm kind of half, half. I don't buy Apple PCs, but I do have my Apple phone. Sorry, Downscale. <laughs> all right scott let's go to ride number two no it's doing me <laughs> absolutely because i like the gaming part of it that's hard on my wrist did you find it challenging um yes yeah no no Spring shooter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Downscale says to each their own. I'm not a judge. Well, thank you, Downscale. No, thanks. Because sir. unfortunately, I have an Apple Watch too. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right. So he likes Toy Story Mania and Soren, uh, both excellent choices. Do you remember, Scott, how busy it was to get on Toy Story Mania when that first opened? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, it's like a lot of rides. Um, I don't know. It's probably still busy. All right. Number three. And I got a good question for you about number three. Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. Buzz Lightyear. And my question yeah. is... Do you know the secrets on how to get all the blooming points? Um, a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I've heard that robot's arm. That's the one I keep hearing about. But I don't. I've never successfully hit it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you'll see. Uh, I saw Corey meets world and Steve Steve's world riding it uh, a number of weeks ago and it was yeah. funny because you saw that yeah <laughs> and steve got in the bad car two times in a row yeah. <laughs> what are the odds that was funny all right now the next ride i know is going to be one that a lot of people would probably say is their favorite what was your fourth favorite ride of the reasons Nice. Yeah. yeah. Explain that. Explain that ride, if you don't mind. Um, and um, is a uh, dark ride, and it has um, uh, Darth Vader in it, mm -hmm. and I like that scene where he kind of blows out. Yeah. I've never been on any I mean it's it's like being in a movie. You're experiencing it like you're in a movie. That one room with all the stormtroopers in it is just <laughs> jaw dropping. Yeah, that's my favorite room. I love Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Down. Oh, uh, first off, Emily says the robot's left hand is worth a hundred thousand points. Whoa. Uh, okay. And Downscale says that he does judge watches. That's on his resume. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he has been watching a decade of live streams of light year shooting, and I still don't know the sweet spots. Well, what do you know? Now they, I would have guessed otherwise. Wow. Um, Top Cat has a question for you, Scott. Um, do you like the People Mover? I've uh, never been on it, and it's one of those rides that is not accessible either. Really? They can't I, stop it and put you on there? Yeah. 
you can't get on at the same place and you get off. I can't get on at the same place and get on. It's just continuous moving. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's unfortunate. I mean, it's 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 a relaxing ride. There's not much to it. I mean, there's a lot to it, but. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, we've all been on these rides four thousand times because we watch Resort TV One. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, number five, and I love this choice, by the way. Star Tour. Yes, Star Tours. Do you remember, folks, what an amazing breakthrough ride this was when it came out? Yes. Oh, it was uh, incredible. I mean, that was so exciting. The ambiance. I love, and I still love that ride to this day, just standing in, in line. The queue for it is amazing. Yes. Yeah. And Does anyone it's hard to get on the rise of resistance? You have to get yeah. on there, <laughs> <laughs> right? And I like the moving around in your seat, <laughs> right? Although I have to admit, I get a little borderline motion sickness on that ride. Nothing like Body Wars. That was terrible, but this one I can handle. Yeah. Um. Okay, well, he's talking about, I think, People Mover, that they, they should be able to stop it. And I kind of thought so myself. Yeah, I would think and, so. And Downscale is saying, we're going to get you on that ride the next time you're there. Yeah. So you can't move your wheelchair over there. That's what we were talking about. Oh. I can't move my wheelchair over there. Okay. Oh. I see. The entrance is in a different place as the exit and and. You can't move the chair to the exit. Maybe I get down and ask you later. Yeah. That's true. Do is it is Animal Kingdom Safari accessible? Yeah. That's okay. one of my favorite rides that I didn't miss. Yeah. Oh, that I'm is, glad you can get on that. Yeah, for sure. And that I to me that's in my top five for sure. Um, oh, Top Cat says good night, so has to leave. Nice good to night, have you. Good night, Top here. Cat. All right, everyone's saying goodbye. All right, last ride, Scott. You have one more. Yeah. I miss it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is yeah. it open again? Um, it's going to be open in uh, November. I hear. November. Okay. Wow. Wait, why did it no. take so long? Because of Tron. Because, because of the tunnel. Yeah. I forgot about that. Tron was blocking it for a while. I heard that they were testing it once in a while. The yeah, they have, they have been it. <laughs> well, Downscale wants to assure you that if you're there and he's there, he's going to get you on everything. <laughs> 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 and I believe you, Downscale. I believe him, too. <laughs> he knows how to pull strings. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, so that is our 10 questions for the night. But, um, Scott, I... Uh, I know we've been on the live stream for almost an hour now, and uh, I just want you to, uh, can you share uh, the first time that you remember when you were, you know, when was the first time you went to Disney World, and what was it about it that you loved so much? 2001, I think. Um... Drive the customer service and the magic. I went to Sea World that year and um, just Disney the match um, the customer service. Uh -huh. I think it'd be very similar 
for for many of us and i know for me it was that magic you know too it's like all in all you just feel like you've had a magical experience yes yeah yeah well um hey uh blaine really creative travel is here hi blaine hi blaine we're just finishing up our interview with Scott and uh, we really enjoyed it. And um, we'll, we'll have to do it again, Scott. Um, yeah, it is. It was really fun. Good. It was a lot of fun for us too. <laughs> yes. I'm glad that I was able to make part of it. Yeah. Next time we'll, we'll, we'll get all that hammered out. Maybe we'll, we'll give them the full panel. What do you think, Mary Ellen? Yeah, boy. You get the whole experience, Scott, with all five of us. But I got to warn you, Scott. T-Town, Mary Ellen, me, we're nothing but road trip, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> now, there's a man who will make for an entertaining evening. <laughs> he does. He does. I know Scott's on road trip Dave's live streams. I oh, miss his live streams. I know. I he's, know. He's trying to get back into it. He's had a lot of stuff going on with very work busy. And, yeah, very busy. But uh, even Downscale is pretending. Well, he knows Road Trip Dave. <laughs> 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 yeah. And Scott, and I just want to reiterate um, Downscale, he's the man. You're going to connect with him the next time. Yeah. He knows how to get things done. He's got your back. <laughs> well, is there anything else you'd like to say to everyone, Scott, before we finish? I am. Um, you know, thank you for being here. This was a lot of fun. And I wouldn't be here without Resort TV One and people. Yeah. Me, 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 happy with their Disney videos and live streams. Yep. Yep. That's how we all met through Resort That's right. TV One. We got to thank Josh and Jenna. They really started all of this. <laughs> yep. It didn't all start with the mouse, did it? Or did it start with Josh <laughs> and Jenna? <laughs> It started with the mouse, and Josh and Jenna have created this community of uh, thousands and thousands of people that have connected in our love for Disney. And, uh, well, let's just say we hope they make some good decisions going forward and recuperate their company. They, we still believe they will. And, and uh, but, uh, yeah. Well, Scott, thank you for, thank you for being here. As, again, we want to have you back. We want to have you back when... Maybe Road Trip Dave, Epcot Bob, and Sooner Girl Leanne can join Mary Ellen and I and we'll. Yeah, that would be fun. All right. Okay. Great. <laughs> well, thank you, everybody, for joining. Appreciate it. And uh, uh, thank you for being here, everybody. So we will say goodnight to you again. We'll be back hopefully in a month or so with another interview. Mary Ellen and I and the rest of the team plan to do one a month or so. We'll see how it goes. So take care. Have a great night, everybody. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Have a magical night, everybody.